Hey guys, I'm Kondator as you all know. Today is a new day with a lot of new opportunities. But unfortunately, due to coronavirus, we all are at home. I request you all to be safe, be hygienic, stay at home, don't go out unnecessarily. At least for now, adhere to whatever government says to us. Today, I'm gonna talk about my bike modifications. Today I'm gonna talk about my bike modifications. I'm very excited to share my experiences with regards to my bike modifications. The reason why I modified my bike is because I'm a tourer and I want my bike to be comfortable while touring. You guys know right, stock bikes won't provide you a great comfort for touring purposes. Hence I wanted my Royal Enfield Classic 350 to look like a scrambler. To be honest, I cannot afford a Ducati or a Triumph Scrambler, hence I changed my bike to look almost like a Scrambler within my budget. The first update was handle. You guys know right, Royal Enfield is famous for it, its vibrations. I added Yamaha RD350 wide handlebar to minimize the vibration and this handlebar does a great job. The next update was knuckle guards. I added Duke 390's knuckle guards to my bike. This was added to protect my knuckles while off-roading. Unfortunately, if I fail, it will definitely going to protect me from getting hurt. It helps to distract the wind blast when I'm on highways. But especially in the winter season, your hands goes numb and it will definitely serve the purpose. Next update was headlight grill. It has added only for look. The next one is mirror. Stock mirror vibrates a lot. I tried to add a washer with the stock mirror but it did not work out. The mirror which I added is quite heavier than the stock mirror and it provides a clear vision. Now comes the favorite part of mine, mud guards. It gives a great look, man. I like Triumph Scrambler with front fender, so I wanted that look to be added to my bike. Engine, it is the heart of the bike, so I'm talking about engine guard now. Since I have installed short mud guards. The stones and dust particles will hit very hard and can damage it. Hence I added the engine card to protect the engine. Indicators and tail light have been added for looks. I've added Continental GT's indicators and the Thunderbolt's tail light. I'm a great fan of chrome parts. But you know guys, it's very difficult to maintain chrome parts. It gets dirty very easily. Hence I sprayed matte black spray paint to all the chrome parts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will leave the pricing information of each parts in the description below. Please let me know your feedbacks in the comment section and I will work towards it. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.